Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I've done the makeup look that I wore during my Nano Oil review video because you guys requested it and I thought I'd deliver it right here. I did slightly change up the eye. I did a little bit of like a spotlight halo eye. Like it's a similar trick like technique that Nikki Tutorials used in one of her most recent videos and I thought I'd try it out and see how it went and I'm so happy with how it turned out super pretty and I haven't done one like that before so I thought I'd get, show you guys how to achieve this look and if you would like to you can subscribe down below to stay up to date with my videos just need to make sure you click that little bell button the notifications button so that you guys can keep updated otherwise YouTube won't let you know that I put out another video otherwise I'll see you guys very very soon and I hope you enjoy this tutorial hey guys so I'm starting off with bare skin. I always like to hydrate myself before I get straight into my makeup tutorial because the way to get clear skin is to flush out any toxins in the body. So I like to always really hydrate throughout my makeup routine. And then I go and color correct. As we can see, I have a few breakouts here and there just from stress and things like that. But actually my skin's pretty good so I can't really complain. But I'm going in and just kind of color correcting so there's no grayness or like any of those spots really peeking through my makeup. So I go in with my colour corrector from NYX and just apply that with my finger just a light layer over those breakouts and then I use my buffer brush from Real Techniques and just buff out the engines. You know how it is done. I like to make sure that most of the coverage is still over top of that breakout or scar so that it's still pretty covered up. Once you look like the Grinch as I do right there, we're going to go on and just set a light, a very light layer of powder over top of that color corrector to help it like stay in place and stop it from moving or wearing away throughout the day just a very light layer this is a little technique i've liked using recently and it's really worked so i do recommend it then i just go over top with my foundation and i'm using two foundations today i just apply that with my beauty sponge from chi chi then i go in and conceal the feels with my instant age rewind concealer in the shade medium beige and apply that under my eyes set my lid like um conceal any veins or redness on my lids and then i go and just kind of um conceal any breakouts or things that might be peeking through just for extra coverage nothing too thick or crazy don't use a thick concealer for this guys otherwise it will look cakey i like using this one because it's very thin but full coverage concealer. That's why I really like the Instant Age Rewind. And I just go in with my Sigma F86 Tapered Kabuki brush, and I just can um I just kind of buff out the concealer, help it set into the skin. You know how it is, girlfriend. Then I go and just kind of buff around the edges of that concealer. Again, don't take away the coverage over top of that breakout. Just kind of buff out the edges so that it kind of fades into the foundation and doesn't look so harsh. Then I go in with my Fit Me Press Powder in 135 and I just basically press that product into the skin to set my under eyes in place, um, to set my lids in place and I go over top with a light layer of that powder over where I've placed the colour corrector and like the concealer and stuff so it sets that in place as well and it won't budge or move. And this technique guys, just kind of using that packing motion really sets it in place and it will not move, it is so good. Then I go in with my Scandinavia finishing spray in oil control and I just spritz that over my face to get rid of any excess powder and help that makeup stay all day. Next for brows, I'm going to quickly just whiz through this because I've done a billion videos with my brow routine in it and it is nothing new. So I just go in with my you know, usual brow products. I go in with the soft brown and the deep brown shade from Maybelline in the Master Brow Pro Palette. Then I just brush those hairs in place with my Browless Way Brow Sculpting Gel in the shade Deep Brown. And the brows are done and dusted. Yes. Next for the fart. Uh, I know you said fart. <laughs> Next for the fun part is the eyes. And I first go in with this deep orange shade. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous orange from Sugar Pill in the shade Flame Thrower. Flame Point, sorry. And I'm just packing this on with a petite crease brush from Zueva. I'm literally just pressing it into the socket of my eye from outer corner to inner corner. And then I'm just kind of using little circular motions as I do it to help blend it slightly out and should have something a little like this. Next to buff out the edges because I feel like that's a little bit harsh, I go in with a 227, no 228, I think it's a 228 brush from Zoeva, just the crease brush. I go in with that transition shade from my Morphe 350 palette and just softly buff out the edges so they're nice and soft. 
don't worry if you take away some of that orange shade like it looks a bit patchy and such it's okay we'll go back and remake it not patchy <laughs> sorry about my wording today guys then i go in with this soft orange shade this very pale orange with a more like soft crease brush from Zueva and i just um place that below the transition shade and above that deep orange shade so right in between to help those colors like transition better and again like i said we go back in with that orange shade the flame point shade from sugar pill and i place that in the crease just like back over where we placed the orange before so it's nice and pigmented again and there's no patchiness to it next i'm doing creating the spotlight halo eye so I grab some concealer this is my mac soft ochre paint pot and I'm placing this with an eye concealer brush and I literally just place the edge of the bristles down and drag it down to create that nice sharp line and I'm only placing this in the center of my eye not from inner corner to outer corner just the center to create that spotlight look then I go and buff out the edges with my buffer brush from Real Techniques then I go in with my petite crease brush again and some of that deep orange shade and I play, place that on the inner and outer corners of my eye and I also grab a more defined brush from Morphe, it's the M326 brush I believe. And I'm just packing on that shade along the lash line. So it goes from the darkest orange into the lighter um, pigment that we're going to place on and then into the lightest shade. Next I'm grabbing these two shimmery shades from my Zoeva Caramel Melange palette and packing this on right above that deep orange shade but leaving a little bit at the top for the next pigment that we'll apply on top. I just want a nice transition so it's like a spotlight look. It just kind of fades from the dark to the light. Nice little gradient. Next, I'm taking this boiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. It's like an orangey goldy tone. Perfect for this look. And I'm placing this, placing this, <laughs> and I'm placing this on where that top part of the concealer is. So it transitions beautifully into those next shadows. And then I go back in with some of Flame Point and just kind of deepen up the inner and outer edges. And then I decide I wanted the um, center of the lid to be a bit more poppin'. So I go in with Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek and place that on the very center of the lid and just kind of buff it out with my finger. Next I'm taking some mascara. This is the Argan Wear Mascara in a shade black and just placing this on my lashes. You guys can leave it there if you want, but I'm a lash addict. So I'm going in with these gorgeous lashes from Icona Lashes. This is the bridal collection, I believe. I'll leave them linked down below. Next, I'm lining my tightline and waterline with this brown eye coal from Makeup Geek in the shade Espresso. Then I'm taking this brick brown shade from my Morphe 350 palette and placing this really tightly against my lash line from outer corner and about bring it about halfway, so not to the inner corner. Then I go in with Flame Point from Sugar Peel and place that just beneath that brick brownie shade. Then I'm taking this transition shade that we used before and buffing this under those colours with a pencil brush from Gloss. This is going to help it buff out and create a nice smoky look to the bottom lash line. Then I'm taking Shimmer Shimmer again and placing this on my inner corners and just bringing that slightly underneath the bottom lash line to open up the eyes a bit more, very slightly. Then I just place on some bottom lash mascara and the eyes are completed. <laughs> For cheeks, I'm going in to warm up the complexion a little bit and I'm grabbing my NYX Contour and Highlight Kit and grabbing that like warmy tone brown from the palette. I can't quite remember what it was called. I believe it may be called Toffee, I believe. I'm not definitely 100% on that one. But I'm just placing that on the perimeters of my face. So along like just underneath the cheekbones, um, around the forehead area, you know, on the nose to give it a bit of warmth, like where that's where the sun hits when we sit out in the sun. We get a bit of like a bronziness on the nose. I bring it underneath my chin and jawline. Next to contour, I'm grabbing this contour powder from Makeup Geek in the shade Breakup. It's a gorgeous cool tone brown, perfect to create a nice shadow. And I'm placing this on just where my cheekbones are, where the hollows of my cheeks are. Then I go in with highlight, I'm grabbing my Violet Voss Highlighting Trio and grabbing these two highlights from the shadow, <laughs> from the palette and placing this on my cheekbones above the brow, nose, cupid's bow, chin and I'm also highlighting my brow bone with the lightest um, highlighting shade. I think it's in Moon Gleam, I think that's what it's called. And then I go in for lip colour. And lip colour I'm doing today is the same I did in my other video, the glasses video. So I'm going in with 
chocolate wasted like oh my god that's my favorite lipstick name ever from dose of colors and placing that on my lips then i'm going over top i'm going in with this lip gloss from gorgeous cosmetics in the shade pout it's a nice ready lip gloss so it kind of brings a bit of like a ready undertone so it's not so harsh with the brown and i just really love glossy lips at the moment guys like i am in love and then i just apply my urban decay all nighter setting spray over top to complete this makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below before you leave so you guys can join my youtube fam i'd love to see you guys at my next tutorial otherwise guys have an awesome day and i'll see you soon